Okay. Do I put it down? Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm a video editor at Waroni TV and welcome to the weekly wrap up. Done. Students exercise their democratic rights in lots of ways this week. PASA started a petition to keep the number three bus route and received over a thousand signatures in six days. This meant it grabbed the attention of politicians in the ACT Legislative Assembly and Elizabeth Kicker, MLA, presented it in Parliament on Thursday. The number three bus goes through campus, along the iconic Daly Road and past many research schools. The bus then goes to O'Connor Shops, Calvary Hospital and Belcon in Westfield. It's slated to be removed on April 29th when the red hot light rail arrives. Toot toot. <laughs> Students also participated in Democracy Closer to Home with the ANU Union elections held at ANU Sport. The election was dominated by two tickets, Relaunch and Revive. These tickets are factionally aligned to Labor Right and Labor Left respectively. Voting ended on Thursday and results are expected to come out this Friday. In lighter news, the halls and colleges battled it out on the court at the inter-hall volleyball competitions. This provides a nice change of pace from the ANU Confessions page. Griffin Hall took the top spot in both women's and men's divisions, beating predictions it would come second and seventh in respective divisions. A research group of the John Curtin School of Medical Research received the prestigious R.D. Wright Career Development Fellowship from the National Health and Medical Research Council. Their research explores killer proteins that can kill pathogens. This new method is particularly important due to the increasing bug resistance to antibiotics. The researcher will be collecting a travel award from the American Association of Immunologists in May. Cool. Finally, on Tuesday, the ANU New Zealand Society organised a poignant memorial to victims in Christchurch. The club arranged the event with the New Zealand High Commission and ACT government and saw hundreds of attendees. It was a beautifully moving event that celebrated Maori, Kiwi and Islamic cultures and speakers reflected on their lost friends and how best to combat Islamophobia in society. Well, after all that serious news and sitting, it's time for us to get outdoors. This is Baroni Does The Amazing Race. The start point, Baroni Office in Cambrai. The end point, Building 13B, Demountable. <laughs> Do we know where that is? No, sir. <laughs> Are we going to find it? Absolutely. Right, to make sure we don't cheat, <clears throat> the phone's going in. May the best man win. <laughs> Good luck all. <laughs> in this race I've got all two lifelines. I can ask if I'm going in the right direction or ask for a building that's in close proximity to the end point. I may have to use them very quickly. It does concern me a little bit that our fifth year student Jamie has gone in the complete opposite direction to me. We're, gonna, we're going with slow and steady, wins the race. That's, that's my tactic here. And it looks like I'm going to walk into a garden. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt. Do you guys know where the Asian Studies Demand Pool building is? 13B, ring a bell. No we're doing idea, an amazing actually. race, so it's like... I'm sorry, we're doing no, that's, a, that's okay, I'm going to lose, but that's okay. It's not on you guys, that's fine. People. Should I use my lifeline? I don't know. Am I going in the right direction? Yes, you are. <laughs> Yeah, you'd think I'd know this stuff by now. Right. Concerns me that that says 10T. And it's what a demountable. 13. <coughs> oh. You're right, the start of the number. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to all of you. <laughs> no one knows where anything is. Sorry, no, you're all good. Do you guys know where the Asian Studies demountable building is? 13B? Between like the art school and like the museum, that's like Cap Asia Pacific okay. over there. Alright, cool. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. I feel like an email theme music. Cool. Team B Asian Studies to Mountable office is? Uh, is it near China in the world? Well, that was my assumption. Okay, I'd suggest perhaps still heading down heading that, that way okay. and going behind China in the world. 
Good luck. Legend. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know if I should go that way or that way. I feel like China and the world is too specific. It's not Asia as a whole. I reckon Lucy's running. And Jamie is nowhere to be seen. I'm gonna use my, uh, am I going the right way lifeline? Am I going the right way? At this moment, yeah. in the direction we're going? Yes. No. Can I ask my proximity question now? Your proximity location is the School of Art. Jamie's already there. Can we just take any demountables? Like these are demountables. Can we just like but that says Chancery. But like same thing, right? Are you ready to think the other team is at the moment? Oh probably there. Like having a bev. That'd be having, fine. Having a bev at the Asian side is the mountable building. Yeah yeah. Let's have alcohol there. That's fine. Did you see it? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Feels good to win. It does. Oh yeah. Come on, Jamie. Amateur. Amateur. Do you want to use your last lifeline? Oh. All right. Yep. Yep. Okay. Proximity. Proximity. Tell me. It's near the. It's near the School of Art. Oh! Oh, get right over there. Oh. You're not winning. That concludes this week's weekly wrap-up. Thanks oh, cool. for the shape, by the way.